Hello everybody, this is Abish, and welcome to Call of Cthulhu. This might be the only gameplay of this for a while, because there's a couple other gameplay series, again, that I want to finish. Um, I've said this exact same thing for a couple of other gameplay series, I'm pretty sure. I forget which ones, though, actually. <laughs> I admit that. But, yeah. This gameplay series will wait for a little while, just so I can get a, a couple of other gameplay series finished, because, of course, I have a bunch of gameplay series to finish. So, there's a lot for the channel. A lot going on for the channel. So, this will just be a one-time gameplay for now. It may be a week, maybe two, I don't know. But, yeah. This will have to be put on the side, or put on... This will have to be put, put on the back end until a later date, so... Maybe, but not too much longer. So yeah, without further ado, let's simply begin. Okay, to move, use left stick. Yeah, I already know how to move. It is a first-person game after all. I don't, why do I... I don't know why I hate... I hate freaking tutorials like like this. Like the... I understand certain tutorials for certain games like that actually need it. However, when it comes down to simple things, just simple things like moving in a first-person freaking game, as long as you've played first-person games before, you should know how to move in a first-person game, just as long as it's not something like tank controls. Alright, to crouch, press B. Okay, then. I don't need to crouch, though, do I? Um, X, A, A button. Okay, then. So there's no way for me to get there. At least not right now. How weird this place is. Strangely, my internet, my, uh, my Xbox game thing is, uh, my Xbox screen share app, I mean, is, um, ah, here's the hole, is running strangely well right now. Hopefully the game looks pretty good for you guys. Hopefully it's not too dark. Looks pretty good to me, in all honesty. Is this? Yeah, it's another chain door. Won't be able to open that one either. What the hell? Oh, that's cool. Look at that. We can bright up the area. Wait, we just got bolt cutters. I just now realized that. Let's go ahead and uh, pull, break these bolts off. Seriously, chosen by what? What has chosen me? Well then, quit drinking it. <laughs> if you hate whiskey so much, just quit drinking it. My gosh. It's not that hard. Yeah, turn that off. I don't like music, and it might be copyrighted anyway. It shouldn't be, because I'm pretty sure it's made... It's like old-fashioned. It might be an old, old song, for all I know. Okay, okay. Um, character points. <clears throat> okay, I'm actually... I actually really, really wanted to do this part. 
this is one of the big reasons why I wanted to play this game for a while. I just never got the chance. Thank goodness I have freaking Game Pass. <laughs> this allows me to do so much for you guys. Let's see. Each character point allows you to improve the score of skill. Um, 4 CP. I've got 8 CP, so... Uh, eloquence. Um, to influence those to talk to you to talk to by the power of speech. We won't be needing any strength. Occultism, psychology, hidden spot. Spot hidden represent your ability to find hidden objects. Chance of finding an mod. Um, um, we're going to need eloquence, definitely. So, add. Oh! Okay then. Okay, so four for this. Occultism represents your knowledge of the occult sciences. A uh, chance of determining the use of or origin or, or artifact and of expressing your knowledge of the myth. There we go. I'm I'm moderately strong, moderately eloquent, and eh, let's say we dabble in occultism a little bit. What's wrong? As you know, we wish to closely monitor the progress of our contractors. And it would seem you've been accepting fewer new cases. Work is scarce. Mr. Pierce, you know as well as I do there's never been more investigative work than now. But are those cases worth it? They're worth not losing your license. Show yourself worthy of the Wentworth Detective Agency, and we might keep you on the payroll. Mr. Pierce, are you still I'm coming. <laughs> Sir, I came here on the advice of a person whom I hold in high esteem. And I must say that I expected anything but a drunkard's lair. You're free to leave any time, sir. Do you know to whom you speak? Stephen Webster, industrialist and art collector. <laughs> All of Boston knows you. Tell me, Mr. Pierce, are you capable of handling a new case, or are you simply a deadbeat inebriate? If you come to me, it means you're desperate. Nobody believes me. They take me for an old fool. Sarah, my little girl, she is dead. Even you must know of her. She was Sarah Hawkins. The painter? Yes. Everyone knows her work. The police accuse her of killing her family. They all died in a fire. Sarah, her husband, and Simon, my grandson. I can't do anything for a woman who is already dead. Find out the truth. They say she was mad, but I know that's a lie. She would never have done such a thing. But if you have no proof... I've brought all that I have. Look. I want you to look carefully at this painting. Tell me all the assumptions that come to mind. What am I supposed to find? Tell me... Tell me if this is the work of madness. Or if, on the contrary, you manage to detect some logic, a rationality to follow so that I may understand it. Is that all you want from me? Yes, please. All right. I'll look at your picture. That's all you've got? The painting? I placed a file on your desk. It contains everything I have on the affair. Okay, let's go for the file first. Okay, uh... A warehouse on Darkwater. Some sketches of the Hawkins family. Rather thin. Mm, someone's in a reboot, but I can make out parts. Um, okay, alright. Okay, new clue memorized. Let's see, let's look at this. Come on, investigate it. What's the symbol on the man's chest? It's as if Sarah Hawkins breathed a message into it. 
So, Mr. Pierce, what do you make of these elements? Uh, take this painting lightly. Find out about Warehouse. Where did Sarah live? Darkwater. Never heard of the place. Where is that? It's a small, remote island off the coast of Boston. Sarah lived there with her son and her husband. I suppose you want to ship me off there. Darkwater holds the secret regarding my daughter, Mr. Pierce. You must uncover it. I read about her mental fragility in the police report. You must tell me if what the police suggest about the mental state of your daughter is true. No. Sarah had visions. Everyone knew that. She never would have heard a fly. She only thought she saw things. Saw things? What do you mean by that? I never knew what she meant by that. My daughter was an enigmatic figure, Mr. Pierce. You must find out the truth about her life and death. I think I understand what she meant by that. She means she saw visions, she saw things, creatures, monsters, or... Well, I don't know monsters. I think monsters might have came by, by around, possibly around the time she died. I think by monsters, she more or less, well, by things, she more or less meant she saw maybe images of faraway places, um, simple creatures as animals, deer, you know, nature. That's where she got all her paintings out of. All the beautiful paintings that she possibly got out of was the, uh, um, she got most of her stuff out of it, you know? The, just, that, uh, most of her paintings that were supposedly beautiful, she must have got out of those visions. Her husband was a big deal on the island. But the police are sticking to the accident theory. Though they mentioned Sarah's mental state was fragile. I believe you are right, sir. This case is not as simple as it appears. I am aware of that. I believe there is more to this case than just an accident. All right. Um, find out about Warehouse 36. The sender's label mentions Warehouse 36. That's right. It came with Sarah's last painting. And you think your daughter could have been the sender? That is what you must find out. Go to Darkwater. Find Warehouse 36. All right. Um, is there more to it? The sender's label mentions... That's right. And you think... That is what... Go to do... All right. Um, that's all... Oh, you shouldn't take this painting light, lightly. Lightly. The meaning could be exactly as it appears. I think your daughter is sending you a message. That's what I believe, too. It was three months ago that I received the call from the police telling me of my daughter's death. And yet a short while after, this painting was delivered to my home. The painting is linked to this case, can't you see? You must find the meaning behind all this. All right. That's all the information I, I need. I'm beginning to understand. I'm willing to do anything for my daughter to recover her honor. Quiet down. I'm on your side. Let's sum things up. An artist dies with her family in a house fire. Your only clue is a sort of promontory painting sent from Darkwater right before her death. Correct. And the rumors about her supposed folly. Which you don't totally deny. Find that warehouse. Find out the truth regarding Sarah Hawkins' death. You'll be handsomely compensated. All right. I'll take the case. I'll go to Darkwater and look into the death of your daughter. Thank you, Mr. Pierce. I didn't expect any less coming from a man in your situation. Something's queer. But it's not like I have a choice. I'll take these, but I'm not gonna touch the alcohol, because I'm pretty sure that's alcohol in that glass. And it'd be, a, it'd be really freaking bad for me to touch that alcohol there. I'm not going to. Let's get out of here. I'll simply touch the sleeping pill. Take the sleeping pills with us.
almost there. Stay on board. There's guys coming to unload. Welcome to Darkwater Island, Mr. Pierce. Why, thank you, Captain Fitzroy. So, what wind brought you? Does the Hawkins case mean anything to you? Uh, a sad story that we would all prefer to forget. Charles Hawkins may have been a landlubber, but he was a good man. And his wife, Sarah Hawkins. A uh, nice young woman, and a great painter. What a tragedy. You know what? Go have a drink of the Stranded Whale. What you need is a good pick-me-up. Mitchell may not be very welcoming, but his bar holds a surprise for you. As for me, you'll find me at the Harbor Master's office. If it's the Hawkins family that brings you here, I have a pile of documents that should interest you. Understood. I'm going for a look around the docks. All right. Ooh, we're having a little bit of struggling. Weird that the struggling happened right as we're. Uh, hopping off, but oh well. How strange. Okay, talk to Fitzroy. Secondary objective, go to the bar, go to Bradley. Okay, I guess let's go to the bar first. Let's get him another drink. He's dry. In my bar, we don't serve troublemakers. Um, I'm sorry. Pure instinct. I behaved like a Hun, and I sincerely apologize. Veteran, huh? 307th Infantry Regiment. Oh. Well, that'll be okay for now. But the war is over. Try not to forget it. I'm here for information, not for a fight. I prefer it that way. Speak then. I reserve the right to answer or not. Um, let's see. No, I'm not gonna order a drink. Mm, I'm looking you for know warehouse these places. Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. The Hawkins Warehouse. I see, yeah. If I were you, I wouldn't hang around there. Why not? First off, there are rumors. Sailors from around here say you can hear noises coming from the warehouse at night. Screams, that sort of thing. Screams? And that's not all. There's the fate of its owners and all the superstitions that go with it. But I'll say no more. Anything else? Um... No prohibition around here. I didn't expect to find alcohol on this island. What's the source of this miracle? You mean who? Our source of supply wouldn't like me to betray them to the first comer. 
I'll tell nobody. She'd know it anyway. Anything else? Uh, find out about Darkwater. Uh, Sarah Hawkins. What can you tell me about her? We all knew she was famous on the mainland for her paintings. Never understood why. Then, I don't want to speak ill of the dead. All right. Mm, enough said about Sarah. Mm. I've got what I need. Anything else? Why the stranded, the stranded whale? whale? I guess this bar has been here a long time. What can I tell you? I'm a nostalgic sort of guy. The name, it reminds us of the golden age of dock water. When our whalers left for long months and came back, sweating and stinking of the oil and flesh of the whales they'd been hunting. It was a tough time, all the same. Ah, but steeped in glory. We've never known such wealth since then. All right, let's return. Uh, let's leave. That'll be all for now. All right. Talk to Fitzroy. Hmm, I guess she was looking at us, so let's give give her a little chat. What are you looking at, stranger? Hmm. Nothing at I'm all. I'm just passing by. Sorry. Let me drink, stranger. All right, then why the hell were you staring at me? Jerk. I mean, like, seriously. You don't stare at a person unless you're expecting them to, like, either either you're giving them some kind of menacing freaking look, or... I've heard of this syllable before, but I don't know where. Oh, I got the second book for this. Yay! More progression. <laughs> Okay, is there anything else for us in here? Maybe we can go upstairs, I guess, because there's nothing down here. How strange this place is. This man and Fitzroy could be twins. Hmm. New clue. Nothing in there. What a macabre souvenir. A macabre? Oh, it's a peg leg! Oh, I don't like that. I actually, for some reason, I really don't like that. That's actually kind of creepy. Ugh. I would hate that and I have like that in my house. From here, I see everything that goes on in the harbor. The hard-working lives of my sailors, the fights of the stranded whale, even the antics of these wharf rats don't escape me. It's you who lays down the law around here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I'm just the last serving captain on Darkwater. Tell me what I can do to help you. Um... Documents are unreadable. Warehouse 36. I'm looking for Warehouse 36. Do you know where it is? Look, it's right there. The warehouse is opposite the jetty. You can't miss it. Understood. All right. You know who the building belongs to, don't you? To the Hawkins. It belonged to the Hawkins family. Precisely. Ship owners from father to son. I think that somebody here wanted me to search Fail a skill this warehouse. test. A skill test? Fail a skill... What part of that was a skill test? Um, let's see. Talk about dark water. This photograph looks strangely I was looking like at your you. photograph. The one of the man in front of the boat. Ah, yes, I can see the one you're talking about. Interesting resemblance. I thought it was you, but with a wooden leg. And for good reason. That's my father in the photograph. Your father? John Fitzroy, captain of the Scylla. His wooden leg is here. You can go and see it if you're interested. Who is Cat? I found a threatening letter signed by a certain Cat. What? 
I don't mind you visiting my harbor master's office, but I'd prefer if you didn't go through my affairs. Are you being blackmailed? Not exactly, no. That shyster wants to make us pay protection money. With any success? I wouldn't say that, but she terrifies my men as much as her own. Can you not do anything to stop her? Don't you worry about that. No. I wish I could help her. Alright, um... Your documents are unreadable. Your manifests have been blacked out. They're totally unreadable. Yeah, I saw that. I've got no idea who did it or why. I don't remember having countersigned anything special enough for someone to hide it. And why obliterate the dates, as well as the goods stored in the warehouse? You mean that the dates have some meaning? What did Charles Hawkins really do for a living? I know that Charles Hawkins was descended from a family of ship owners, and the island's fishing industry was hit badly. Indeed, we specialized in whaling, but no whalers went out to sea after the miraculous catch of 1847. So where did the Hawkins family get its money? Well, from what Charles inherited, I presume. Although, these dates on the manifests could indicate that he had contracts of another kind. With whom, I wonder? Hmm. Okay, let's leave. I shall be on my way. So come back and see me when you've got something new. Alrighty. I shall do that. <laughs> okay, get inside Warehouse 36. Alright, let's get going. Oh, what is this? What is this? Can't you go any faster? You've seen how old this thing is. If we force it too much, we'll break everything. The same goes for you, sir. Move along. Um These sailors these sailors get upset over nothing. Um I'm Warehouse looking for 36. this address. Warehouse 36, Darkwater Harbor. Ah. And so who are you? I didn't introduce myself. Edward Pierce, private detective. In any case, it's not very important. I can't answer that. You can't? Or you don't want to? Oh, no, no. I'm not getting into those games, me. Now, please, allow me to do my job. You can't understand. You're not sailors. It's a sign. There's something coming. Something real bad. Alright, um, I'm guessing they're- aren't they blocking the entrance to the warehouse? Who's this guy? No idea. You better keep it shut. What's with you wandering around here like a hungry dog? We saw you talking to the two soaps. Go die of thirst, a lot of you. It'll stink less. Let's get their activities. Hmm... I've got to enter the Hawkins warehouse. I guess it's going to be complicated. No, it's very simple, in fact. Fuck off. I don't give a damn about your racket. I just want to get into this warehouse. And we don't give a damn about you. Whatever your reason for wanting inside, there's nothing we can do for you. Hmm. Is what it happened you to, to the statue, statue of St. Brendan? Dreadful. What makes you think we did it? We're bootleggers, not savages. Who do you think defaced the statue? What do I know? They could have done it by themselves. The sailors? Who else, in your opinion? And who's interested? Who so does this who belong are you? to? Are you stupid or are you doing it on purpose? Everybody knows us on Darkwater. Well, I'm, I'm not from Darkwater. Right. Let's just say we're standing guard for the owner of the site. And we let no one enter her property. You are cat. cat. She's your boss. What? You listen through keyholes. She's the boss, yeah. She says who goes in or not. Shut up, you <laughs> dummy. You wanted to know that you also talk too much. She must be quite intimidating if she can make two men like you tremble. <laughs> she redid the smile of the last one who wanted to get in. I hope he had a good dentist. No, no, you don't understand. She really cut him a new smile. But he only smiles with the left cheek. 
She sounds frightening, your boss. And she doesn't like to be talked about behind her back. Hmm. I bid you, gentlemen, farewell. Wow. I really want to get in there. I wish I could knock them out somehow. Hmm. Maybe give them a bottle of alcohol with sleeping pills in it? That'd be something I'd do. <laughs> no, it's not. I'm just kidding. I would not do that at all. I'm saying, like, in terms of this game, if I was the one in this game, and I was him, and I was trying to investigate this whole thing, and involved, two people were involved in a gang that shanks people and defaces people, yeah, that would be the situation I would do in that situation, but not in real life. Unless it was life and death. Alright, let's get well, going. Well, a little mouse has got lost on our turf. You're not only inquisitive, you're also stupid. What gave you the crazy idea to come onto my turf? This bloody alley is yours? Good for you. I've got work to do. I don't think that you've quite understood the situation. I'll tell you how things work around here. I decide who comes in and who stays out. And anyone who doesn't respect my rules, I punish them. So your cat. Hold to test strength. Ooh! You don't have to do this. Of course I do. And I'll even take pleasure in doing it. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Ooh! Fudge! Get this Joker out of here. He might have a little trouble walking on his own. Ugh. I'm getting careless. I didn't see that coming. If I want to get into this warehouse, I'm going to have to deal with her. Yeah, I already know where to find her. She's a douchebag, though. I really don't want to have to deal with her. But it really freaking sucks that we broke it. We broke the lockpick. We broke the freaking crank wheel, so we have no other way of getting in there besides her. Mmm. Chief makes me angry. Another break? Hey, Mitchell. A drink for our new friend. I owe you. You don't know how to fight, but at least you've got guts. Yeah. Aching guts. Huh. I've got them too. But you don't hear me whining like a pooch who's lost its leash. You didn't back down. Something that I respect. So understand by that. If I catch you again, you'll carry a more permanent reminder of our encounter. Tell me, what brings you to Darkwater? I'm investigating the deaths of the Hawkins family. It's very nice of you to tell me the truth so openly, but it's also really stupid of you. You really don't seem to know the area. Let me give you a little advice. If you want to survive more than a day in this rat hole, avoid talking about them to the first people you meet. I need, I need help to get into in. the Hawkins warehouse. You're out of luck. It's on my turf. It's precisely for that reason that I've come to see you. Are you pulling my leg? Would I have taken that Think risk? Get over. I've seen what you're capable of. And you didn't miss me. I accept the compliment. Well, I see you're serious. To be honest, as long as it doesn't interfere with my business, I don't care. But I'll go with you. To make sure you don't stick your nose into things that don't concern you. Sounds honest to me. I'm not finished. If I do that for you, if I let you onto our turf to conduct your little affairs, you'll be indebted to me. And I guarantee that I always collect on what I'm owed. Think about it. I help you, you'll owe me a favor in return. Do you accept? Sure. Do I have a choice? Oh, we always have one, detective. Follow me. No I don't know. No questions your authority here. I was given to believe that Fitzroy stood up to you. That dope tried to save face in front of his sailors. They revere their brave captain as they do their old statues. But sooner or later, all statues get buried in bird shit. And nobody cares. And the police? They do nothing to stop you? 
The local cops? The cops drink like everyone else, sweetheart. They know where their interests lie. Apart from that pig-headed Bradley, I don't know whether to admire his stubbornness or to have pity on him. That's how it's done. Do I still need to hold your hand? Or do you think you'll get by on your own now? Don't overdo it. Good. In that case, I'll leave you. I've done enough mothering for now. Alright. Thank goodness she's gone. Ugh. I hate having to deal with people like that. Ugh, this place stinks. I honest I'm on I What is the connection guys. between this place and the Sarah Hawkins case? I have no idea. Enter reconstruction. What? The fudge? Hmm. Medicine. Who has enough money to buy painkillers, but stays in a place like this? No idea. It smells as bad as it looks. Ugh. Ew. Le Petit Parisian. Who might keep a news clipping about Sarah Hawkins? <sighs> Who knows? Oh, dang it. Starting to get a little bit of lag. Occultism. Is this one of Sarah Hawkins' paintings? Okay, isn't there more to this? I guess not. Alright, Hawkins Warehouse. Um, I don't know what to think about this. I don't know what to say about this. Uh, there's nothing else here, is there? Ugh. Nasty as hell. Oh, someone has settled in here. And whoever it is has something to tell me about the Hawkins case. Is there anyone in there? You! Don't move! Detective Pierce, I told you to stay away from this warehouse. I'm not gonna threaten a police officer. Case is far from being wound up. Wound up? You mean messed up? Dog. Oh, we don't take no lessons from the likes of you. We do our job carefully and No, fairly. you don't. No stone was left unturned. Really? Can you explain what this painting is doing here? This strange poetry. Wait, I know it. It was in the Hawkins mansion when we came to investigate the fire. So you confirm that it was removed from the crime scene. Interesting. I'd like to go and see the mansion now. Of course. You want to go back along his trail? <sighs> I'd like to understand how this painting made it to here. Come on. My car is parked down the way. Andrews, would you please shut the door? And open your <clears throat> eyes, damn it. This guy went right under your nose. Hmm. God damn it. Her again. This case has nothing to do with you, Baker. Clear the passage or I'll shut you up for obstruction. Officer Bradley, you've finally grown a pair. Too bad you're too fat to see them down there. Why you? Come on, keep the smile. You don't want to force me to widen it. Okay, I get it. Can we go to the mansion now? I thought I'd straightened you out, mister. I am disappointed, but we'll meet again. Is it far, this mansion? Look behind you, at the top of the ridge. You see the building? That's the Hawkins mansion. Come on. We got some driving to do.
Well, here we are. Hawkins Mansion. The place has been abandoned since the fire. There's only old Winchester in his hut. Okay. Um, I thought the mansion burnt in a fire. I see no scorched trees or fire damage on the building. You're pretty damn observant, ain't you? The fire was quickly contained. Old Silas acted as soon as he could. Not soon enough to save the Hawkins. They were trapped in the drawing room. And don't go troubling Silas anymore. His guilt torments him enough as it is. Are we gonna take a closer look at this mansion, or do you have other questions? Um... Why is the caretaker still here? He's clearly not doing any gardening. You know, Silas Winchester has been working for the Hawkins family as far back as I can remember. Charles was like a son to him. The day of the fire, he lost his whole family. So he's got nowhere to go. And, as you'll see, in a way he's still watching over them. Is there anything else you want to ask me? Or do you want to go up there? Yeah, let's not the waste any more time. quickly here. And I want to be able to see when we arrive. I'll go with you. If only to reassure Silas. Yeah. Except. Why not? You can help. Right. Let's go. All right. You know what? I'm gonna... Anyways, guys, I'm gonna end this here. Hopefully you have all enjoyed. Like I said at the beginning, this is just going to be a one gameplay thing for now until I can get at least a couple more gameplays done, or gameplay series done. Um, we're close to finishing off Doom and maybe one or two more other gameplays besides Doom. I'm not sure. Maybe... Um, maybe, uh, the Blair Witch game? I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm really not sure. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And yeah, without further ado, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.